Finally, Hardware 3FSD will get some love as Tesla's VP Ashok said on X. I would really love to see improvements in version 12.6, particularly with the sun glare situation where the cameras become completely blind. I would also love to see improvements in unnecessary braking at traffic light as well as better and smoother driving with earlier decision making. As for this video, I'll mute myself because in my previous videos, many people mentioned that they don't want to hear my voice. However, if anyone wants commentary, let me know in the comment and let's enjoy the video together. Hello everyone, we are back with another full self-driving videos and we are in New York and we're gonna see how Tesla FSD handles narrow roads, unprotected left turn and few other tests. So let's find out how Tesla FSD handles this situation. So we're gonna make a right turn on this stop sign, but we have to creep a little bit to look on our left side. If there is no other vehicle, we can proceed. So there is no other vehicle, so we just proceed right away. So they're okay. So right over here, sometimes the car gets confused because sometimes the light just changed from yellow to uh, red and the car sometimes breaks and decided to go. So it happens with me a few times. So we're going to also see those kind of situation if the car gets confused or stuff like that. So we are moving forward. Also, guys, if you're watching this content for the first time, I request you please hit that subscribe button because I'm a new content creator and I need your help so that you can also support me as a new content creator and it's absolutely free. So let's see how the car handles this navigation. So there are... There is a situation where the car always or sometimes fail to navigate and is because the we have to march from our left side. So for this, we need to like stay in the left lane. But for right now, the car is still on the right side and we need to change the lane and move to the left side. But the car is now doing it. Very good job there. So yes, and now after a few moments, we need to change another lane to the move to the left side one more time because we're gonna merge and then we are gonna go straight. But we have to stop on the stop sign. In my previous video, the car completely failed on that stop sign. So let's find out. It is going very fast. Okay, now it is changing the lane and it breaks. Okay, very good. And there is no other vehicle from the opposite side. So let's find out how the car handles this situation. So it is going, as you can see, and it is, okay, avoided that construction vehicle and we are moving forward. When it was proceeding, it was going a little fast, which I didn't like, but the car is doing um, absolutely fine because it was going a little fast and then realized that, okay, that car is backing out so we're gonna go and go a little slow and move to the left side so we're gonna make a left turn and then we're gonna test that narrow road situation where the car continuously gets stuck so let's do it guys okay it should proceed it should just go i just edited that it is just stuck it is now rotating the steering wheel so I'm gonna press that acceleration to tell the car please go because it was just stuck there. So we are moving and we're gonna make a left turn on this upcoming road, but the car gets stuck. So let's find out if the car can do it. So it is going, it is going again. If you are seeing the hesitation, you can feel that the car is definitely having some hesitation there making that left turn. Really don't know why the car is definitely having some hard time there making that left turn. So let me know in the comment, guys, why you think the car is keep getting like, you know, lost or getting confused making that um, narrow road left turn. So we're going to do one more time. So let's do it, guys. Narrow road test number two in New York. And we're going to test how FSD handles this narrow road situation, because as I told you, the car so many times failed here, gets a stock there, cannot calculate the space. And again, the hesitation, you can see the hesitation on the steering wheel. Now we are very close to the fence. Um, if the car rotates the steering wheel all the way to the left, it can definitely navigate, but it is just getting a stock there. It's just, you know, like it stopped here. So I'm going to take over. As I told you, I rotated the steering wheel all the way left. And I can definitely make this a left turn. So I'm just frustrated with this software version because the car is continuously making the same mistake every single day. 
Um, please let me know in the comment what you think about this performance, why the car is having hard time, why the car is doing this, what it is doing. So now we're going to do some unprotected left turn. This is also a tricky unprotected left because you need to go straight, stop on the stop sign, you're going to make a right turn and immediately make a U-turn. So this is the unprotected left I'm talking about. So let's see how the car handles this new, brand new road because this road is completely new and the car handles it perfectly. As you saw that the navigation doesn't have that data, but still the car can navigate us through this new road. So we're going to make a right turn here. Okay, immediately make that right turn, but didn't stay in the right lane. It moved to the left lane for some reason, but not a big issue. But if there is vehicle coming, so you shouldn't change the lane right now. There are construction going. I I, I really don't know why you just changed the lane. I know you're going to make your right turn, but you could just see that. And now, okay, again, the confusion. I press that acceleration a little bit uh, because the car, you know, hesitates and there are vehicle in my like behind so i had to press that acceleration so that car doesn't you know bump into my car so that's the thing i'm hearing on x and any other social media that uh, this fsd version is getting confused whenever the light change from green to yellow yellow to red or whatever it is but the car gets definitely confused so we're gonna test that unprotected left turn so let's do it guys Unprotected left number one in New York and the sun is directly hitting in the cameras. I don't know if the car can. You see that? Did you see that? It is saying take take over immediately. So I'm just going to take over. And I don't know. It's very frustrating, guys. I I know like because of the sun, the car cannot see it properly. But every time, whenever I came in this road at this kind of time, the car just keep getting lost because of the sun. So we're going to make a right turn creep. Before we do that, we need to see on our left side. And then we're going to go straight and make a right turn. So you see that car, that Sienna, we should just go behind that Sienna. And we're just, again, doing the wrong thing. Don't like the idea. Why would you do that? Oh, you could just easily... Yeah, there are vehicles. So I'm just going to take over. Uh, it could just easily go behind that Sienna and just make that U-turn from there. But for some reason, the car is deciding just to change the, like, not changing the lane. Go straight and just stop there where you don't need to stop there because there is no other space to stop there. So really don't know why the car is going like you know like being very confused and stuff like that so let's do it one more time guys so unprotected left number two in new york the first time the car gets confused went to the next block couldn't make that u-turn so i had to take over this time the sun again hitting in the cameras but this time the car could handle this sun situation so we are moving we are going and we're going to stop on this stop sign and then we're going to stop and look on our left side. If there is no other vehicle, we're going to go straight, make a right turn, immediately make a U-turn. So we are creeping a little bit here, as you saw. And after this car, we should proceed immediately and it is going and immediately make that right turn again. Wrong move. Absolutely wrong move because it should have just came all the way straight and then make a u-turn from there wait over there for the opposite side traffic and then make a u-turn so really really frustrating because the car shouldn't do that the car should just go straight make a u-turn wait over there for the opposite side traffic and if there is no other vehicle it just makes a u-turn you saw those car right over there the car should just wait it over there and then make a u-turn So we're going to do one more time, guys. Let's do it. Unprotected left number three in New York. And we're going to test how the car handles this situation because we are proceeding. And this is a tricky unprotected left turn. So we're going to see how the car handles this situation. So it is very narrow and the car is going very fast. Really don't know why the car is going so fast. 
And we're gonna creep a little bit. I'm pretty sure this time the car will get fell too because it already came all the way very right side of the road. It should and it need to no 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 there is a vehicle. I'm gonna engage it one more time and now it should proceed. Again, same mistake. Same mistake, guys. Really, really don't know why. It knows how to do this unpredicted left turn because if you are familiar with my channel, you know this car, the same software, did this unpredicted left turn so many times, but it just keeps failing today. Really don't know why. So I'm just gonna end the video here. Please let me know in the comment what do you think about this performance. And uh, please hit the subscribe button because I'm a new content creator, as I told you before. And if you want to support me as a content creator, please hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.